foster in the country. The law provides nearly $3 million in funding to Planned Parenthood if federal money is pulled. The bill becomes law tomorrow, and it was passed without the governor's signature. A watchdog group says taxpayers are funding animal tests for homemade abortions. Our next guest analyzed the government data. Joining us now is Alyssa Hackbarth. She's with White Coat Waste Project, a bar bipartisan coalition opposing the government spending on animal testing. She's also a weekly contributor to the Weekly Standard. Alyssa, your group reports that the National Taxology Program is engaged or at least plans to be engaged in animal testing using herbs to induce abortions. Besides how disturbing this is to a lot of people, why is the government conducting these tests? They want to prove that the amount of herbs that these mice are ingesting equals the same amount of what a woman would take to prove. They want to kill these mice in order to see how much it would take to kill a woman. Now, industry and experts have said that that doesn't equal out and that it takes the mice are fed more than a thousand times than what a normal human would take. Yeah, like I said, it can be pretty disturbing when you think about this on a large scale here. These herbs are available over the counter. You can buy them on the Internet. It, another disturbing part is that it makes it easy for homemade abortions, unfortunately. What have you learned about the dangers these herbs can do to women? They provide, so when a woman takes multiple doses of these herbs, they can do impartial abortion. So parts of the fetus can still be stuck in the woman. It leaves them susceptible to um, infection and other very dangerous and unhealthy symptoms can arise from those. What is Congress doing to try to eliminate taxpayer waste like this? We have teamed up with Congress to introduce the FACT Act. It's H.R. 816 and it is a bipartisan bill to bring light to the to bring light to what all of these tests are doing to these animals, what each the CDC, the uh, EPA, um, NIH are all doing. And it helps prevent the hardworking taxpayer from having their money go to disgusting and extremely outdated and wasteful testing on animals. Well, we wish your group good luck with this bill and hopefully we'll pass. We'll continue to follow it. Thanks so much. Alyssa Hackbarth, advisory board member at White Coats Waste Project. Thanks so much. Thank you.